here, buddy. We're doing it! We're doing it! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a question uh, about my dehumidifier. A buddy of mine, uh, Southwest Pilot, Mike, came up with the design and we made a few of them uh, for a couple of airplanes around here in the air park. So uh, somebody emailed me and asked me about it, wanted me to kind of describe it. So I figured I'd make a short video on it. So here we go. All right, guys, here's the system. So you can see that it's made out of four inch PVC pipe. We have three T's, one T on this leg, a T in the middle and another T on this leg here. We have some four inch PVC pipe sections about four inch long, uh, one at the bottom there where that rubber uh, cap is on, same on this side, one here with a sealed cap, one more in between this T, one more between that T, same on that side and same on this side with the rubber cap here. So how the system works is we take air in from the oil cap and this is what we did is we got a 3D printed oil cap with a threaded slot for a nipple on there for this 3 8 inch clear PVC hose. That draws air in and I have a quick disconnect that goes to that cap. It's plastic here and that snaps in there. So it draws air in from the oil cap at the top of the case down into this chamber here. Inside this chamber we take off the rubber cap we have a air pump that's for an aquarium. So that air pumps just in here drawing air from its own little inlet from this air that's coming from the top of the engine. So it draws down in here out of that uh, pump is a quarter inch PVC line that would normally go to a bubbler inside the aquarium. We run that line across here. There's a sealed cap on this line here. So this chamber's sealed. It goes across. This is an unsealed chamber where the uh, outlet and everything's stored up inside here that we access through here. Goes across into this sealed chamber. So there's another cap in there with another nipple. Then that bubbler, which is kind of looks like kind of like a pumice stone that the quarter inch line connects to. It's at the bottom of this chamber here. I turn it upside down and hold it at the top. I fill this entire chamber full of blue decasin beads. So that bubbler's at the bottom. The air goes in there, bubbles up through that decasin and comes out the top here. There's a one way valve here. So when we have it upside down, if that decasin bead drops in here, it won't continue on through. So it keeps it there. Then this line connects up to uh, the bottom of my engine. So I had to use a little larger line for my particular situation for my oil breather line. As it hangs down, this is uh, a drip all catch. Uh, if any oil would come down, it drops down in that little cap area and uh, is just there for um, catching it. So inside this line cap here where the pump is, on the top here I have a sealed up a an Acara humidity sensor. So it's A-Q-A-R-A. -A. That is a wireless sensor that I tie to my home kit network. The car in there registers humidity and that controls an outlet that I have in here which is also home kit enabled. When this gets down to 6% humidity it turns off this pump or the outlet which turns a pump off. When this sensor reaches 15% humidity it turns this outlet on which turns the pump on and it does this cycle. All right, guys, this is what it looks like hooked up. I don't know if you can see it in there, but the oil cap, that 3D printed's on there. Then this line with that quick disconnect comes down to that side where the pump is. Pump's drawing that air in into this chamber, across this open chamber and into the decusent, which is here. Goes back through that tube, there's my catch-all. And then the hose, or that PVC line, just slides up on top of my breather tube there. It goes up far enough to cover up the hole uh, for icing protection. So it's a nice sealed system. And I'll see if I can pull it up in my iPhone app to show you how it looks. All right, guys, this is the Acara app on my iPhone. And uh, I have a couple different sensors, but the one right here is humidity. And it's got that sensor inside that sealed side that, of the chamber that has the pump in it, not the side that has uh, the decusin. So it's getting the air that's gone through the decusin up through the engine and then coming out uh, the top of the engine. 
and reading that air so it knows what the temp or what the humidity air excuse me humidity level of the air is that's coming out of the engine before it comes to the decusant and as it goes through decusant dries and comes back it measures that and I can click on there and this was uh, we were up at 17 percent I just hooked it back up I don't know if you guys can see that very well on there but if I were to go to the week view here and turn it sideways you can see this is what it would look like throughout the week as it uh, it's shut off here and it slowly climbs up it gets to 16 percent the pump turns on which really pushes a lot of air or humidity through it you get that little spike and then it drives it back down to six percent shuts off and then starts coming back up again it turns on at 16 you get that little spike and so on and it does that uh, throughout the week very low power consumption uh, one thing i will say is that you know, we've always heard when well, you go fly the airplane for about an hour with the oil temps above 180 degrees and the humidity level inside the engine will drop dramatically. Well, I have found I go out and fly for an hour plus with the oil temps above 180 degrees, uh, come back, let the engine cool down just a little bit, take my dipstick out. I store it right there in one of those little uh, pipes there and I put the 3D printed one in, snap it in, put the other end up on the breather tube and turn this on and uh, my humidity level goes to about 98%. This tube from the top of the engine will have water, beads of water, all the way down, about halfway down. So it really takes a lot of moisture out of that engine. It's, it's really impressive how much moisture comes out of this engine through this tube gets sucked up by that decusin and then dried and comes back in. Uh, so we have about five airplanes now in the air park that have this and they're all seeing the same results. So either corrosion isn't as big of a problem uh, as we might think because people are using aftermarket products like CamGuard or Victory, uh, Philips 66 Victory oil that's got an additive in there that really helps the oil stay coated on the walls of all the metal surfaces preventing corrosion or uh, you know we have a lot of aircrafts that have had some corrosion in there and they run just fine uh, we figured you know we'll try this it's a closed loop system versus another system that's just blowing dry air in this is circulating air through the entire uh, case uh, as much as it can and removing all the moisture that's uh, floating around in there and keeping this closed loop so Anyways, well, that is a just a brief overview of the uh, dehumidifier we built. Thanks to Mike Knoll, my good buddy who designed this and uh, helped me build it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So if you have any other questions, uh, reach out via these videos. Again, uh, thanks for everybody subscribing and clicking the bell icon to get the next uh, video as they come out. So, all right. Have a great day. Bye.